Hi guys. So, how do you find creativity, inspiration, and how can you make it a part in your day-to-day -day life? I was talking about being in nature like in some of my previous videos and I keep talking about it because I always try to talk about something that gives me inspiration and that I'm actually doing in my day-to-day -day life. So if I keep talking about it, in case it's not, it's too much, then let me know. But I think um, one aspect I haven't yet clearly spoken about is that if, let's say, you're working on a problem, you have a challenge, or you need to come up with some plan or strategy for your work, for your life, and you th you've been thinking about this, maybe you need to come up with some creative solutions for something, then what you can try is you can actually go in some nice forest like I am in here right now and you just go for a walk and initially you just remove the problem from your mind don't think about it just be in the forest be as like you know conscious as you can listen to the birds in the background and just really enjoy the nature and then um, if, been, if you, you've been thinking really intensely about some particular problem beforehand, then once you're able to calm down and bring this certain kind of logical dimension in your brain down a little bit, then you know you create room for creativity and inspiration, intuition to arise. And for me, that often means that when I take these walks, I have the best ideas in my life. And I would have never had them if I would just continue to sit in my office all day long. Because it's a different dimension of intelligence. There's so many different aspects of intelligence. And if you pay attention to it, you will notice this very clearly. So you don't have to think that every time you take a long walk, it's like non-productive. It's the opposite. It can raise your productivity to a whole different level because you might have inspiration and ideas or even come up with tactical plans for like a strategy that will propel you to a whole different level, you know? So instead of just thinking about it as like a leisure time or relaxation time when you take these walks and go to the forest, you really can consider it as like a good investment and it's actually even work you do on a different level. Um, I think we need to stop think about work and productivity in just this one logical dimension where you, you know, I don't know, you do this clear cut work where it's very clear what you do, but for higher levels of thinking, this doesn't apply. So try to experiment with this a little bit. Go for a walk and see what kind of creativity and inspirations you can come up with. And it will not only help you with, you know, um, coming up with great ideas and plans and strategies, but like I mentioned in the other videos, it will definitely have a huge impact on your spiritual development. For me, I feel any time I spend a lot of time in the forest, and then I meditate after, or even chewing the, while being in the forest. It's so many times it has been such a more powerful experience for me. So yeah, I can just try to encourage you to try this out. And I would be really curious to learn like where you find these kind of spaces and um, inspiration, creativity. Um, what are your tools? Where do you go? What do you do? Share your experiences with me. I always read all the comments. Um, sometimes I don't respond to them immediately. Sometimes I respond to them. But I always read them and I'm really curious to learn more about you. So leave a comment. Let me know what kind of um, spaces you, you, you try out. If you have questions, leave a comment. And please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading a new video every single week. All right, I wish you a wonderful week, guys. Bye.